Hi everyone and happy Friday. So it has been a minute since my last video. I didn't realize that it had been the 15th of last month so it's been a little longer than I thought but that's okay. Had to take a bit of a break. If you saw it on my community page, my Instagram uh, profile, uh, updates, whatever have you. Um, I just needed a break. I won't go into it too much right now just because this is a completed pages video and uh, I can save the updates for a color and chat. But um, I am going to try to do some videos this weekend and then I would like to do some more videos starting next week but there might be fewer videos than I normally do. I normally do about three a week and we might go down to like two or something for just a little bit till I get back to where I need to be. Anyway, enough of that. I am a little late with this video but like I said was just getting to the point now where I felt like I could um, do a video. I actually completed quite a few pages this month. I, you know, colored a lot at the start of the month, kind of shorted out in the middle of the month, and then I had a few, you know, at the end. So we'll get started. So I had um, four body colors for um, May, and which you'll see my goals video. My goal was five, so I almost made it. I wasn't able to get to the other body color, um, the regular body color that I do out of Baby Dragons with Tammy. Couldn't get to that picture for May, but that's okay. This was from, uh, I did a body color with Rubber Nuggy Arts on Instagram, and I'll link all these below. Um, we did a body color out of A Million Owls by Lulu Mayo. And I did this page. This is all Arteza watercolor pencils. And um, I have to say, you know, I've grumbled. I've had, Arteza is one of those companies where I've, you know, some of their stuff's excellent. Some of their stuff I, you know, fuss about. But I have to say, I really like their watercolor pencils, guys. Um, I have others, but right now these are my groove. Like, I just love them. They're so bright. And so it's um, watercolor pencils and then a little bit of, my favorite like dual metallic gel pens. So you got a little bit there, a little bit shiny on the shield, I mean, and his, his little bow tie, it's great. There's so much happening here. I mean, they're running around with, flying around with, you know, pandas on strings, which seems a little dangerous for the pandas, but you know, hey, whatever. Don't know what's happening here. Is he defending her honor? Is he an evil villain that has stolen his woman? I mean, what, like, this is all, like, soap opera, like, owls of our lives or something, because there's just so much going on. But I had a lot of fun. Y'all know I don't normally do pastel -y type colors, but this just called for it, and it was super, super bright. I just love it love it and it was a double page spread which is which is something for me this um was a buddy color with my friend michelle she's on instagram as michelle's box of hues and this was my first maria charlay picture and this was my first time coloring out of one of her books so we picked botanicum and i ended up doing this page right here and I used iridescent gelatos for the background and you can see the shimmer it's like a low-key shimmer I mean I didn't even really notice it when I first painted it on and then I was like ooh when I saw you know you just leave that ooh shiny moment when uh, you actually notice there is a little bit of a shimmer so I used uh, gelatos in the background and I do have this as a, I think a color in chat so you can kind of see how I did that the rest of it is the dual, of course, my beloved dual metallic gel pens and then some Tombow markers as well for like the branches and stuff. I think I used a glitter, no, it's still the dual metallic for the leaves. So, turned out super pretty. I did it as a sort of dedication page to Oreo who passed away last March and I just hadn't got, been able to get around to doing um, 
a page for them. So it's kind of like me and Oreo. So, and didn't really bleed through to the next page, which I was super pleased about. So, big thumbs up for gelatos. I love the gelatos. Um, 50 Summer Miniatures, uh, Sma uh, Sammy, she's Sammy Suhu on Instagram, and I think Samantha Oswald on here on YouTube. We did two out of this book uh, for Buddy Colors. This is by Camelia Angelkova. We did this page, and I kind of went, I, you know, I kind of went fantasy a little bit with this one. I just wanted to pick some different colors. And um, so I, you know, orange strawberries, green, whatever those are. I'm assuming they were, you know, supposed to be like blueberries. And anyway, um, love the blue and pink I did for the mice. And then, of course, they have the corresponding little doors there. Have to wonder where the little yellow mouse is. He must be out and about scampering. So very cute picture. Um, just used alcohol markers and then did you know the normal dark outline and then a lighter color for the rest so that seems to be my favorite way to color um, these days and then we did this one as a color in chat I took this palette from like a palette for the Johnny Depp Alice in Wonderland movie it's not called Alice in Wonderland whatever it's called but I used the Mad Hatter Tea Party color palette that I found online for that. You can see I used the gel pens, uh, again, the iridescent gel pens to outline the flowers. And then for just little bits and pieces for the rest. So, again, uh, for a lot of this, just darker outline and then slightly lighter color for the inside. Just to give a little bit of an effect. So, turned out super cute. So thank you, Sammy. Thank you to Rubber Nuggy Arts. And thank you to Michelle for doing Buddy Colors with me this month. Then I realized I had my Cosplay Cats um, picture this month, and, or in May. I keep saying this month. It was in May. Um, and I'm telling y'all, like, what well, this started off the month. It feels like it's been months since I did this picture. This is just how crazy May was. Like, I was like, really? Are we sure I didn't do that in April? But no, no, this is a May picture. My first page out of Cosplay Cats by Jen Racine. I have been just chomping at the bit to get into this book, but I had a particular way I wanted to color them. So it took a little bit to get my, to get to where I want, wanted to be. So this was the first page in the book. This is the superhero cat. He is, of course, again, gel pens, uh, glitter gel pens, and then I think I used the neon type pens. Um, what are they called? Like the Milky Pop pens or, you know, like the neon type uh, gel pens for him. And then uh, along with just alcohol markers, use this with a stencil with a little gel pen. I uh, colored the background in confetti crayon, used alcohol marker on it, then I overlaid the stencil using gelato, and um, then I cut out these little meow and hiss, you know, like the old time comic books where they did like pow and bam with the old like Adam West type Batman cartoons. I know I'm showing my age here, but I just thought they were, I love this picture. I love it so very much. It was a learning experience. Um, I did realize I have to be more careful in how I lay my stencil when I do a pattern, but it bothered me so little. I, you know, I wasn't going to try to clean it off and fix it. So, and then I laid it on some acrylic, uh, acrylic, Arteza, um, like some shiny type paper. I got from them so I love this picture it's adorable and this is kind of how I want to do the book where you know maybe it's just marker and gel pen for the cat and then I do like a subtle background like that and the color palette was kind of a 70s vibe of like 70s superhero vibe so that's where the browns and then the bright pops of orange and green and uh, blue came into play so he's adorable I love him he's so cute 
I had two whips um, that I wanted to finish this month as part of my goals, and I met that goal. And there are also water-based marker uh, pages, which I have some I completed entirely out of water-based markers, so um, met that goal too. I have a couple Crayola, Crayola books like these. These are super fun, and they're kind of hard to find, to be honest. I can't remember where I got these. I honestly can't remember where I got these. Anyway, maybe it was Book Outlet. I might have been at. Whimsical Escapes. These are single-sided, and they're a lot of fun. Um, that's one I did a while back, just random. And they they are pretty thick paper. It's pretty thick paper. Like, it... This would take, I think, water-based mediums, too. Anyway, I finished this picture. Why do I keep halfway being off camera here? I finished this picture, which I only had the flowers colored. Um, I did the rest in marker. And then I used a confetti crayon on the background with a, bl a colorless blender over it. And I really like that. I've used that a couple times this month. And it's just, I don't know, it's... It, saves my alcohol markers a little bit and I don't have to worry so much about you know lines and stuff and it just gives a real pretty effect I didn't want a pure white background but it's subtle enough that I'm happy with it so really really use my crayons this month and I'm very happy about that I normally buy stuff and then I don't use it so here was my other whip out of Elegant Escapes by Crayola and it was this page I had started, I think I just had like these four flowers colored. I was trying, oh, I'm going to have to go get them. Hang on. All right. So, um, I had, I was trying out, I think, so I have this bin of water-based markers, this little, this little container here. And it's a combination of these Leisure Art brush tip markers, which I bought at Ollie's like a million years ago. And that's what they look like. And then the Crayola Dual Tip water-based markers. And so they have like a brush tip. That's one color. And then you've got a fine tip. That's a different color. I'm not big on the fine tips because they pill the page a lot. But for small sections, they worked really well. So I just ended up pulling these back out because I knew I was using some of these. So I just pulled all these back out and did the page in those. So this was a water, I had a goal of two water-based marker pages this month just to try to use these that have been gathering dust. And it turned out cute. Sometimes you just want to put marker on paper and I used the different colors on both ends and then the different types of markers and just got some really cool effects. So there are my whips. Okay, so there is that one. Are we still? Yeah. So speaking of water-based markers, um, and technically the Botanicum book was a water-based marker finish too because um, I used Tombows in that. So that was kind of a water-based marker page as well. Here's my, here's one of my other ones from Little Fairies. This is, there's uh, Sun Life Drawing Little Fairies stained glass color by number. And I did, see look, I flagged all my pages this month. I did this one. And for this one, I used these. They are uh, Faber-Castell water-based markers. These were a gift, um, I think, from John. Yep, the Bibliophile Colorist. Um, I hadn't had much opportunity to use them lately. They're grip color markers. And then they're just um, like a fine tip. And I'm trying to think how many are in there. 20, maybe 25. I think I might have had to pull from, did I just use what was in here? I think I just used what was in here for the colors. Um, I had to make some adjustments <coughs> on the colors to get the different ones I need. Um, I don't know. I feel like I might have grabbed some other water-based markers, but I can't remember which ones. Anyway, um, it turned out really cute. I had to do the kitty one. I have to say the water-based markers, I have to be, it, they're, it's a much slower coloring experience because I have to be careful with them if I don't want streaks or if I don't want to peel the page. 
Um, they are great for small spaces like the Crayola page I just showed you before. This has a bunch of little spaces too. So they work well in for little spaces if you don't like the streaks that they normally leave. They just take a little longer because you got to be a little more tedious with them. Um, but it turned out cute. I like it. I was glad I actually got to color in that one this month. Alright, so I did get a couple of um, Happy Mail birthday coloring books um, from my friend Lauren and uh, my fellow YouTuber. And one of them was uh, Stained Glass Mandala by Kira Shershneva. This is Color by Colors. Been wanting some of her books for a long time. Then I went on my two month no buy, which I met that goal, guys. Let me tell you, June first, I was buying color books, so I'm not gonna lie. Let's just let's just be honest. We're all friends here, right? <laughs> but um, anyway, I didn't have any of her um, other than her puzzle animals book. I didn't have any of her other books yet. And so um, Lauren sent me this, and I did the very first one out of this one, and I love it. I love. I love the paper. Um, I like, like, some people can get the colors, like, just absolutely on the nose, you know, and you can't really see the lines. And some of these you can't, but some of them you can because the color didn't, wasn't quite the same. But, you know, I'm pretty okay with that. I like the look of the slightly darker color. So as an outline so I think that just creates some interest so I really don't mind that and they're a lot of fun I really wanted to do another page in here and it just didn't happen but thank you Lauren and it's great then she also sent me this one <laughs> I do have a color and chat on this one as well if you want to go back and look for that this month that might be the last video I put up I think this is Animal Farts 2 by, um, I think it's called Your Quirky Ant. And I absolutely adore this book. Y'all knew this was, this was my jam right here. She knew this was my jam. I did the very first page, which was the panda page. Um, just used alcohol markers. Um, like I like to try to do with some of these mosaics like this I just alternate different colors just to get a little more interest I did that with the branches as well though it's a little harder to tell um, did that I did some iridescent gel pen on the leaves and then for his little uh, noxious fume cloud I it's supposed to be gray but we went with neon green because of course he's eating all these bamboo leaves and then I just used a white Posca pen around that for some extra emphasis on, on the fumes. So, because that's just how I roll. <laughs> anyway, that was a lot of fun. I, uh, I had to finish the page up here because for some re in here, because for some reason the line cuts off and that drives me crazy. So I'll be, yeah, I'm going to be coloring in that one a lot. I, I liked it a lot more than I thought I would. I'll be honest. All right, more color by number. Um, yeah, I think everything else is color by number, guys. This month, you know, I was super creative and, and going outside the box at the beginning of the month, and then I just got burnt out just because of everything going on and overwhelmed. When I get into that mode, that's where color by number comes in because that helps manage that. So, um, Jade Summers, color by number patterns. I did the very first page out of this one. And um, again, alcohol markers. Love how it turned out. I really like this book. I didn't think I would. I'm normally not a big pattern person, but I, I like I like this one. I find myself reaching for that one a lot more than you would expect than I ever expected. Cactus and succulent coloring book. This is the black background version by Color Questopia. And I did this one. Again, um, just to create a little bit of a um, little bit of interest, I used different colors. Like this was all twelve, and so I just used two different types of pale green. I think it's pale green, light green. I used two different types of light green for twelve, um, and like for some of these, just to give a little more interest. And then in the background, of course, I did two versions of light blue as well, and. And when I don't do the dark outline with the lighter 
inside I like doing this just to get a little more interest very pretty page I like this book a lot too you know the problem is all these new books I've gotten like these they're hitting my buttons and <laughs> all of my challenge books are getting pushed off to the side because I want to color in these so I wish like it's the middle of the year I wish you could do like a swap out for your 10 books I mean theoretically you could but I kind of feel like this you know I don't know is that cheating it might be cheating I don't know we'll see I might reevaluate it later this month we'll we'll see anyway flowers and gardens black background by color questopia I did the next page this one I'm starting in the front and I did this this one now these pages I'm doing the for the most part I'm doing a darker outline on the edges and then a lighter color inside I don't I like the the dual like the two color blend like that um, I just that's my jam that's my comfort zone that's how I've done all the other pictures in this book so far and um, I really like it so we're gonna continue with it in this book it's very pretty I love the look it gives you just a little bit of shading and just a little bit of just a little bit of difference um, other than just straight coloring so but I do straight color too for example large print color by number uh, by color questopia this is also a black background I did this page I was losing a, my light blue marker up here which is why I got a little streaky I burned through a lot of markers this month guys I might actually have to order some more wise brands because I have burned through think at least five of those markers and yeah so this might be the first time I actually have to buy another set to because my other my I've used my other sets so much so I was very pleased with that but my little birdies they're so pretty anyway so yeah some of them I just straight color some of them I just you know I do different things with so I had to do another one out of Spectacular Spring Scenes by George Tufexis. It was just, I just couldn't put this book away. I had to do another one this month. And I did this handsome devil who is, I think I said on Instagram, I titled this one The Forbidden Breakfast. Because <laughs> he should not be going after that bird. He should be leaving that bird alone. Anyway, Tau Tree Markers, they're my jam for the George Tufexis books. I know a lot of people end up using pencil because markers do bleed and the pencils and I love the pencil pages and I agree I have problems a lot of times with the bigger markers bleeding those little towel tree markers just they're perfect they're the perfect size for this and unless they're super juicy I don't have much issue with bleed not like I do with the bigger markers so I pretty much save them for books like this that have more complex um, smaller areas to color in but it's beautiful beautiful just love it makes me so happy so yeah I was thrilled I might move into I've got one of his by the sea seashore whatever books might move to that for the summer I also want to color in his cat one I haven't done that in a while this is part of my 10 books to finish for the year. Um, I just only got one page out of this space coloring book by Color Questopia, black background. And we just did this one. And, and again, I, sometimes I'll use two different colors. Sometimes I'll just color it one color like I did this. It's just whatever I want to do. So we're working our way through that one. I needed to do a few more pages and I didn't. Same here, Floral Design Color by Number by Jessica Mazurkowicz. I did one. I probably should have done more than one, but, you know, the middle of the month meltdown happened. So we did this one, which is one of my favorite. This has got to be one of my favorites in the book. I just love it. The sunflowers, they're super pretty. Super pretty. And then that will be my next one. Like I said, I really meant to do more than one in both of those, but all right. So for the remainder of my books, well, even my whip is, is a mosaic. These are all kind of mystery mosaic books where you don't really know what they are until you color them. So 
if you have any of these books and you don't want to be surprised, I like to be surprised. I don't like to know what the picture is going to be. Then thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Um, but if you don't care, then, you know, please, by all means, stay. Stay a while and listen. <laughs> Anybody get that reference? Mystery Colors, Jungle Animals, another 10 books to finish. And I only did one this month. But he's such a handsome one. Look at that. Isn't he, isn't he gorgeous? I just love it. I was so glad to finally get a kitty. <laughs> I mean, all the other ones have been super cool too. Don't get me wrong. But, you know, I even I like the snake and, and the vulture and the eagle falcon and whatever that thing is anteater anyway i was looking for a big kitty and i got a big kitty so i was <laughs> the forbidden kitty um <laughs> forbidden bets is the one i call <laughs> what i call this one um but anyway i let's see i think i use my wise brands again i've been going to my wise brands first and then supplementing with my shuttle art and my sprees mostly just because i know a lot of those markers are ending you know going towards the end of their life so i also had to dig into some of my other markers for some of these colors because i really wanted to color match this one accurately so and then we've got the next one what will this be who knows Th they usually give you a hint on this side yeah i have no idea long prehensile tales so anyway stone mosaic book one one of my goals for june which you'll see in my sunday video is um to finish this book i'm really close and so we're gonna push through and try to finish this book this month so we're gonna start here with this fishy Again, Wise Brands, um, Sprees, and Shadow Arts for, I think, pretty much all these, unless I tell you different. So, when I say alcohol markers, those are kind of my go-to for color by number. So, we got the fishy, we got some mushrooms, and a dragonfly. We've got the double-decker bus, and I'm assuming Big Ben. And then we've got this cute little house with the little water wheel in the water. I think that's cool. So got through those. I've already colored one for this month. I think I have eight left. So June. One of my ten books to finish is going to be finished. It's going to be finished. I'm excited. Animals. One color arts. I usually try to do a picture in here each month. And this month. Whoop going to show you the one or for may it's going to show you the one for june we have mr squirrel who i colored brown of course tree cat i've already done one this month i might do another one i don't know we'll have to see this is my other water-based marker um i do like to use my crayola and rose art super tips in the animal and uh, travel mosaics by sun life drawing this is the original one with the white background they have come out with a black background one but one of the reasons i like to use water-based markers in here is they don't bleed um so then the white outline stays white and i don't have to go in with the gel pen so we did this cute little hedgehog who is getting him some goodies stealing stealing my mushrooms stealing my berries and whatever else is in there i spent all the time searching for those and that little furry jerk just decided to help himself but anyway did i miss a whole bunch of them i did for some oh my gosh y'all i tell you i tell you i my brain look look right here four whole sections i didn't color okay whatever we're still counting as a finished picture i'll finish it after this it's finished picture for me anyway water-based markers um again they go a little slower but they were you know less 
streaking and I don't have to worry as much as bleed with bleed with the white lines. Now the books I do have with the white lines, the Tau Tree markers might be the way to go since they're not, uh, they don't bleed as much. So might be something to try, but anyway, very cute. All right. Well, we're going to put that over here because apparently I need to finish that one. We're not going to count it as a whip. I do have one whip this month though. Um, Mystery Mosaics Wow Cats by Belva Family. I was on track to finish this one. And I got done with these sections. And then I stopped. Because the rest of it is, I believe, browns. Mostly browns and reds and, and warm colors like that. But y'all, like, I got done with the grays and the black. And we were like, you know, this looks really cool and of itself. I actually thought, just thought about leaving it like this because I love the inverse look. It, it's very, I don't know, it's got a darker look to it. My Maggie is howling and acting goofy in the background if you're wondering what that noise is. All right, we hear you. Anyway, instead though, I thought, what if I go with some dark and olive greens and turn them into a zombie kitty? instead of going by the color palette. And I th I love that idea. I just haven't been able to get myself together enough to actually pick, because I'll have to, of course, pick the colors myself because they don't coincide. Anyway, so he's going to be a zombie kitty. I just haven't quite figured out what I'm going to do yet with the butterfly in this. So he's going to look a little different than what the actual finished picture should look like if you go by the color by number. But hey, it's my book. I can do that if I want to. And I think he would look super cool as a zombie kitty. Don't you? Anyway, that was May. I will talk a little bit Sunday about like my, I'm just doing this so y'all have something to kind of look at. Wait a minute, we got to do a count, don't we? Um, one, two, what I have in here, four, yeah, I think it was four. One, two, three, four, yes. All right, so one, two, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fifteen, seventeen, nineteen, twenty. I did two in here. It's twenty-two, twenty-three. This was two pages. So twenty-five. I had 25 finishes this month, which is actually turning out pretty average for me the last few months. It, it was a good month for coloring. It's just, it was a lot of creative non-color by number at the beginning of the month. And then it kind of shorted out in the middle of the month. Then it was more color by number at the end of the month. So, um, still very nice finish for May. Um, I'm going to have my goals video up Sunday. Again, I know we're already getting into June, but um, I already, I set all my goals earlier this week, so I'm already in, you know, already am aware they're in progress. Um, we'll talk about my goals on Sunday. I'll show you kind of what I'm planning to color in this month, at least what I'd like to, but June is going to be a little more probably up in the air just because I'm still I still consider myself in my depression drop um, like where I just have a drop in energy and more depression more anxiety I'm still kind of in it so I don't want to go too crazy like I did in May, at the beginning of May in terms of what I want to color in um, we're just gonna hit some high points I think on Sunday and I'll show you just maybe a few of the books plus like I said, on the first, I ordered a whack ton of books. Um, I tried to restrain myself, and it wasn't very, I didn't do very well. But I'm staying within my budget, and um, the budget I have set. And um, so I've got a lot of them. I've got a couple more coloring coming in. I may show some of those in the, you know, to be colored, but um, you'll see those more thoroughly, like in my uh, Happy Mail video later this month. So I hope you guys have a good weekend. I will see y'all on Sunday and then I guess we will go from there. So 
thanks for everybody for being understanding. If you've been around a while, you know this is pretty much just standard operating procedure for me right now. I go two months where I'm really doing well and then I about the month and a half mark I start to kind of hit a slump and so I'm kind of mid slump but better than I was last week and the week definitely better than I was the week of my birthday so maybe maybe this time it won't last as long we'll cross our fingers anyway guys thanks for watching and I'll talk to you soon bye for now